This video is designed to help you start a bakery business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a bakery business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful bakery business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. The first consideration while starting a bakery is to find your niche. Bakery products are many. Your startup bakery shop may not have the financial strength to produce and sell a wide range of products at once. So, determine your niche market that you want to serve in the initial phase. As your consumer base grows with the popularity of your bakery shop, you can think of selling more varieties of items. So, make a restricted list of bakery products you would be selling. Finding a good location. If you're looking at retail bakery options, aim for a high traffic area. Ideally, your space will be easily accessible to a large volume of people, have enough space for seating, and reasonable rent for the square footage. For example, the world-famous Ferrara Bakery is located in New York City, in the heart of Little Italy, on the corner of Grand and Mulberry Street. It may not be the most spacious cafe, but the foot traffic more than makes up for the lack of seating. Try to find this balance with your location. In most retail businesses, location is key. If someone is planning to open up a new location, pay a lot of attention to the foot traffic, where you are opening it. Location can be something that can make or break your business. It's very important. Consider these factors, when choosing your business location, accessibility, competition, foot traffic, parking, growth potential, demographics, fits target audience, cost. Decide on your menu. Your customers would like to first take a look at your bakery menu. Your menu will show them the bakery items, along with their prices. For example, if your bakery shop specializes in making a variety of cakes, its menu will list them out, with some description and prices. This helps customers in making right purchasing decisions, based on the types of cakes and prices. However, take your menu design seriously. If it is professionally designed, it will create a good impression about your shop. Decorate your bakery to reflect its personality. Think of decorating your bakery shop elaborately. It is essential to draw the attention of people who are passing by. Those who enter your shop should also get a good first impression by your shop decoration. Generally, an elaborate decoration indicates a new shop opening in a locality, and people are, therefore, drawn to it in greater number. Pay attention to signage also. Signs are placed outside and inside of retail shops. So, Put a nice larger sign outside of your shop to catch people's attention. Also, inside the shop place signage to indicate toward a section of bakery products. But make sure that your signage design speaks about your professional side of conducting your business. Build relationship with vendors and suppliers. Your personal contacts and rapport with vendors and suppliers matter a lot, for the growth of your bakery business. They will supply you raw material to make bakery items. You will be frequently placing orders of raw materials depending on the delivery options and schedule. So, build a friendship with them. Advertise extensively. Generate as much awareness about your bakery business as you can to draw the attention of people. One of the surefire ways is to advertise your bakery shop as local newspapers. Cost of publishing in local newspapers and magazine will not be much for your startup. Create an online ordering app. Most of your customers would like to order bakery products online. Therefore, make sure that you have your own app that consumers can install on their phones. Such apps make online purchasing of your products much convenient for your customers, when they want to enjoy a little get-together at home over a small party. Create an attractive mobile app design that is user-friendly and gives a great shopping experience. Create a website for your business. In this age of the internet, you will miss many customers if you have not put everything about your business on a website. When they receive your business card or see your advertisements in newspapers, they will first visit your website, to gauge the types of bakery products you make and sell. They would like to know more about your bakery business, before making any bulk purchasing. A website, therefore, becomes an essential part of conducting any business, including starting a bakery shop. Make sure that your unique website has every single detail that your customers want to know. Give them the impression that your business is transparent for clients and it serves quality bakery items. Get involved in events. You should maintain a consistent presence personally and commercially in the bakery community of your town. To do so, involve your staff and business in corporate events related to bakery industry. Make sure to meet your customers' changing demands on occasions such as Valentine's Day cupcakes, Independence Day cakes, Christmas cookies, and Wedding Day cakes. 
The next part of the video is not specific to a bakery business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in a bakery business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful bakery business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? 
you need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a bakery business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea and do as much as you can yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free bakery business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.